Alright, I'm going to show you how to do statistics on the Sharp EL531X and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to run through how to clear the memory, how to change modes and how to use the statistics mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, um, how to change the mode. Now of course we press the mode button and our options are either the normal mode or the statistics mode. Um, we're already in the normal mode, but if I press 0, it returns. And if I want to go to statistics mode, I press the 1 button and I'm given these options of SD, standard deviation, line, quadratic, um, I'm actually, or linear. I'm actually going to go to the standard deviation mode and I see here stat naught. So I'm now in statistics mode. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to clear the memory. Um, every time you do a calculation on statistics or put anything into the memory, um, it's a good idea to clear the memory so those that data doesn't affect other calculations that you might do later. On these calculators, changing the mode normally will clear the memory, but just to be clear, I'll show you. The two buttons you're going to use are the second F and the alpha button. Um, just above the alpha button you see M clear and that's the button that's going to clear the memory. So I press second F and I press alpha and it comes up with the options of MM reset and I'm going to reset the memory by pressing zero and then zero and that has cleared the memory. Now I'm going to show you two examples and we're going to enter some scores into our calculator and do some statistics on them. Now this first example is going to take these individual scores, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 10, and we're going to um, find the standard deviation, the mean and the population deviation. Um, now the buttons that I need to be able to do this are the number pad, of course, to enter the scores, and M plus to enter each score into the calculator. So I press 2, M plus, and it tells me that I've got one piece of information in the data set. I press 3 for the next score, M plus, 5, M plus, 6, M plus, 7, M plus, and 10, M plus. I've now entered the 6 scores and it tells me that I have 6 items in my data set. Now I'm going to find the mean, the sample deviation and the standard deviation of the population and I've got the answers that I'm expecting to see here. Now above the key, above the four key in green I see the X with a line which is the mean. I see above the five key the SX which is the sample deviation and then above the six I see the population deviation above there. So to find the mean I press alpha four equals and I get the answer of 5.5. To find the population, oh, sorry, the sample deviation, I press alpha 5, and there's the sample deviation, 2.88. And finally, the population deviation, which is alpha 6, and that comes up with the answer of 2.63 rounded. All right, now the next example I'm going to show you is entering information or data from a frequency distribution table. So I'll just clear the memory. Remember, I press second F, alpha, zero, zero. And so my memory's just been cleared. Now, when I've got this table, this means that I have the score seven happening four times and the score eight happening five times and the score nine happening three times and so on. Now, I could press seven and then the M plus button four times and the eight and the M plus button five times. But really what I want to do is shorten my workout. And so I'm going to show you how to enter a table like this into your calculator. And the buttons that I'll need to do this are again, the numbers. I'll use this key, it's the STO key, and then also the M plus key to enter that information. So to enter the number seven, four times, I need to press seven, and then STO, and a little comma comes up, and I press the number four. And that tells the calculator to remember the number seven is included four times in this data set, and I press M plus. Now it says data set equals one, 
but that means that I have entered one score type and that score type is 7. Now I'm going to enter the score 8 five times, so I press 8, STO, 5, M plus, 9, STO, 3, M plus, 10, STO, 7, M plus, 11, STO, 9, M plus, and 12, STO, 6, M plus. Now, I have actually entered in 34 different scores. 4 and 5 and 3 and 7 and 9 and 6 is 34. Now, just to show you that there are 34 scores in there, I'm going to press the alpha button and the zero key, and it comes up with the letter N, which basically stands for number of scores, and I press equals, and it tells me that there are 34 scores that have been entered into the calculator. So I'm going to find the mean, the, the sample deviation, and the population deviation. Again, to find the, the mean, I press alpha 4 equals 9.88. The sample deviation, I press alpha 5 equals 1.67, that's rounded. And the um, population deviation, alpha 6 equals, and it's 1.64. Thank you very much.